Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video for the games event. In this video, we're going to be playing Eat the World. We're going to be getting all of these shines and silver coins. So yep, here's this game. I've played this on the channel a few times, only as background gameplay though. Now, if I'm just going to show you guys the badges, so we're going to get one, two, three, all of the quest badges, and then of course, all of the five shine badges as well. This one was so easy. I 100% completed it, so I'd recommend you guys do the same. Didn't really take me that long either. So yeah, let's jump into the game. Okay, so we're going to do the quests and the shards at the same time because this one is relatively simple so what you guys want to do is click on the game's logo and click on teleport to islands this is going to teleport you to the special the games event island kind of reminds me of lego island if you guys know that old game and what we're going to do guys is just click and you want to start eating stuff yep the game's name it doesn't lie you literally have to eat the world so if you click on the game's quests as you can see for the first quest we have to reach a size of 300 and then complete a race around the map which is really easy so yeah you just want to like spam click if you guys want to use an auto clicker or something so you don't wear out your mouse then and yeah, that is something you can do. But um, as you can see, I'm just eating all this stuff. And then once I'm at 300, we're going to go and start the race. And um, this race is kind of funny, actually. It's like some obstacle course kind of thing where you have to run through these or like uh, rings and then you get speed boosts and stuff. You just have to jump over the obstacles. Kind of like a uh, total wipeout as well. It's uh, pretty funny. I almost went the wrong way there. I don't know why I'm an idiot. But yeah, you just want to follow the golden rings. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to speed up this footage for you guys and just let you guys watch it because there's no point in me adding commentary over this. It's like, you you know, super obvious about what you're supposed to do. Okay, so coming to the end of the race, um, you just go to the finish line and that is it. So that is quest number one done. Yeah, I wasn't joking when I said this one was relatively easy. So now quest two, we need to get 150 points. And to do that, guys, you have to destroy targets. So if you pick up um, bricks and, you know, part of the world, you can actually throw them by pressing E. So as you guys can see, I can destroy a target here and I get five points. So yeah, that's how you do it. You just pick up bricks, press E, then your character throws them. And that's literally it. So that's quest two. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys where one of the first shards is. So it's over here, just where this like um, big golden target is, but it's sort of like on the cliff face. So make sure you don't miss that one. Anyway, let me show you where another shard is as well. If you go to the village, um, you can see the windmills over there. You can actually find one just here in this like little cave. To be fair, like loads of people know where these are. So they're sort of like opening them and you can just sort of see them. So yeah, that's not too difficult. There's one on the mountain as well. If you climb up this, if you just dig through this wall, you should be able to see it that shard will be number three i think yeah we're doing pretty well already that's number three out of five and then if i just show you guys when the next one is you want to go to this island which has just got a bridge like uh linking it it's um sort of hidden just at the front there there is actually like certain bricks which tell you where the shards are because they've got like a different texture to them so yeah that's a good hint i found another one here actually and that one is the fifth one so yeah this one was actually like really easy i enjoyed playing this not too difficult maybe a little bit grindy but but, um, you know, not super complicated. So we've got five out of five of the uh, shards or shines. I should be calling them shines. Oh, whatever. Shines is a stupid name anyway. And in quest three, you have to earn 1000 points by eating tons of bricks. And um, that's it. Obviously, I don't need to show you guys this because, you know, that's just common sense. So there you go. Eat the world. Not too difficult. Um, maybe, you know, it just takes a while.